Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Oh, my hands look awful and my nails look terrible. I'm really struggling, still struggling to grow my nails and I'm obviously struggling to keep a routine with YouTube and YouTube videos since I moved. Um, I, I don't know what to say really apart from it's been busy with work. I'm still trying to get into a bit of a routine with working from home and where I've got everything set up in terms of my nail polishes is uh, also the same place that I work day to day. So I feel like when I'm coming into the office to do a nail polish video that I'm, I, it confuses, I'm, it's off-putting because it makes me feel as though I'm, I've got to do some work, work, like normal work. Anyway, big long excuse. I, I am going to try and get back into more nail polish videos. I feel really bad that I've missed the Magnificent Seven because that was something that I did consistently for about four years on my channel. But I did say, if any of you remember in the last video, that I was going to do a polish pickup video. This is really late. This is what I ordered in, uh, I think it was end of September that arrived in October. Uh, but this is my first polish pickup. I think the reason that I, um, I think the reason that I decided to go for polish pickup this time is because I missed the polish con uk polish con online shop that was only open for a while it was in the middle of me moving and i just it just completely slipped my mind um so i didn't manage to pick up any of the polish con polishes so i decided that i was going to go for a uh, polish pickup uk i'll i'll put the site down uh, i'll i'll put the link to the site in the description um, so you can take a look. It's uh, from what I can tell, and I'm very sort of new to polish pickup. It's indie brands, which is a really good way of me checking out some indie brands that I've not tried before. And I think there's usually about 30 in the shop. I went for five polishes um, and I really liked all of them, actually. And I have ordered another five in November. So I've definitely been bitten by the uh, the polish pickup bug yeah it's the red carpet edition for november that i've picked up so that should be arriving in the next few weeks but let's have a look at what i picked up in september which was halloween sort of spooky october themed actually before we get into that let's just see if i can do some close-ups here this is a beautiful polish i've actually been wearing this for about three days now it's from last year's autumn collection um, and this is called Hats and Scarves. There you go, Autumn Splendor Trio from last year. And it's actually got, if I took this nail polish off now, um, you'd see it has like a taupey beige kind of base. It's You can't really see the base colour here. It's packed with holographic, but it's also got that beautiful green flash in there as well really glowy um but it's it's actually a neutral polish it's a very complex neutral polish it's kind of silvery green um i absolutely love it um so yeah that's hats and scarves a uh, fantastic neutral polish from last year's autumn splendor trio from Arda's nails that's what's on my nails today Okay, so first up, this is definitely a brand that is new to me. This is Sweet and Sour Lacquer, and it's actually from uh, Made in Texas. So this is a, a Texan nail polish brand, and it's a jelly. This is really unusual for me. This is not the type of polish that I would normally go for, but look at those flakes. Absolutely amazing depth of flakes and it's just a beautiful jelly consistency. It's actually opaque in two coats. But I'll just show I was actually I was astounded how, how easy this polish was to apply for a jelly polish. So it's a beautiful deep dark red and you really can see all those beautiful iridescent multi-chrome flakes so yes i absolutely enjoyed wearing this one i didn't even tell you what it's called it's called crypt keeper from sweet and sour lacquer 
Now I will do a second coat on all of these before we finish but um, next up is, now this is a, a brand that I do have, um, I think I might have even seen this on Instagram um, before I saw this on the Polish Pickup UK website, it's Emily Demolly Death Stairs and um, it's a very bright, uh, vibrant purple with lots and lots of white hex glitters of lots of different sizes. Now, I, I have in the past bought indie polish that's very similar to this, but I found it really difficult to get the glitters to suspend properly um, without just sinking to the bottom of the bottle um, at all the the deepness of the colour actually washes out the you know the the glitter sink on the nail so you can't see them it just looks textured and bumpy but this one is a brilliant formula I really really enjoyed where in fact all of the five that I picked up I was pleasantly surprised by so I think from what I can remember this dries kind of a satin matte um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. That's Death Stairs from Emily De Molly. So next up, this is another brand that is new to me. This is Crystal Knockout, and this one's called Stingy Jack or Stingy Jack, um, and it is a beautiful. It's this is kind of like a carrot orange. It's a little bit muted. It's not a bright, bright, like pumpkin orange. It's more of a carrot orange, which actually on my hands, on my skin tone, is quite a neutral type of orange, but it's absolutely fantastic. It looks a lot brighter there. Um, two to three coats. This look, just looks amazing on the nail, but it's if you if you're interested in... I mean, maybe not this polish, but this type of shade, that kind of carrot orange. Um, and you're a bit worried about orange clashing with your skin tone. This does give it a more neutral feel. And you can see all of those multi-chrome flakes in there. It's absolutely fantastic. So that one is Stingy Jack from Crystal Knockout. And then this one here is, this is another brand that's new to me. This is Polish Molish and it's from Russia. It's a Russian brand and this one is called Unbelievable. There you go. So I picked it up in September. It arrived in October, hence the uh, spooky Halloween theme. But this one, again, is just an amazing formula for a Crelly and there's a mixture of like metallic chrome multi-chrome glitters and matte glitters um, and I just love that shade of blue especially it's just it's kind of summery so it doesn't seem like a Halloween polish but um, I just yeah I really like it I really enjoyed wearing it and it's a fantastic formula and I'm really glad that I got to try out this brand so that's Polish Molish which is a Russian brand And finally, the last one that I picked up. Now, when I saw this on um, on the website, it actually looked more red. I thought this was going to be a red holographic with lots of, I don't know if you can see the, um, it's got like turquoise, really, really tiny turquoise flakes, which you can see on the nail. And this one is, it's from Northern Star, yet again, another brand that is brand new to me. And the reason, the other reason that I picked this up is because it's called Jesk. And if you know, you know, but this is, um, I, I absolutely love the TV show, What We Do in the Shadows. It's like a comedy um, vampire. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, a fan of Matt Berry and he's just absolutely fantastic in this show. And this is Nadia. The vampire Nadia and her um, lost love, and he is she. He, he appears in human form as Jeff, and she really has problems saying the name Jeff, so she calls him Jesk. 
and so I had to pick this up. It is a, also a really, really pretty holographic pink. It's um, it's quite a it's like it's a sort of dusty rose pink holographic with very very bright sparkly crushed turquoise flakes in there it's really really pretty so that is jesk <laughs> from what we do in the shadows and actually no it's not it's from northern star <laughs> so you can see that emily de molly starting to dry matte I'm going to put a second coat on everything and we'll come back and take a closer look. Okay, so that is a second coat on everything and yeah, I think uh, the, the light keeps going in and out but hopefully you can see just how fantastic these polishes are. I'm actually, I'm really, really pleased with all of them um, and it just makes me want to get more polish pickup polishes which obviously, I, which I have done for next month. So I'll be getting five of the red carpet polishes. I'm really looking forward actually to one of them arriving. It's an ethereal polish, which to me on the swatches looked quite similar to, I think it might be a dupe for Cinderella. I'm not sure, China Glaze Cinderella. Um, I'll, I'll definitely do a comparison when that arrives. It's probably absolutely nothing like it. Uh, but yeah, those are my five October polish pickup polishes. I am going to try and get back into videos, filming them a bit more. I do enjoy filming them. It's just finding the time and then the just setting things up. The routine is completely different. So maybe I just try and film a bunch of them at the same time um i don't know i'll try and figure it out hopefully everybody's doing okay it's a bit miserable over here in the uk at the moment we're going through in the middle of a second lockdown in the hope that i think everybody wants to see the families over christmas so we'll i don't know we'll see how that goes the the restrictions are supposed to be being lifted at the beginning of december um but i don't know what will happen uh, I'm continuing to work throughout and, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. Hope everybody's doing OK and pushing through this awful time. I will try and upload more videos and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.